Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday morning's Market Roundup. Today, we're going to get started with Courtney giving a little information on cattle. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Matt. Thanks a lot. These are interesting times for the cattle and beef industries, and this morning, I just wanted to give a quick update on the latest happenings. Starting with the wholesale beef market, this is Ernerberry's Choice Beef Carcass Cutout Value, and we can see that it's been in a bit of a seasonal downturn in recent weeks. The industry is navigating the dog days of summer, and there's a lack of major retail buying occasions after July 4th and up until Labor Day. So this typically contributes to slower beef demand and meat demand in general, and we've seen that cutout value trend lower. However, the cash cattle market has been fairly resilient. This here is Cattle Facts's six state fed steer price, and we can see that for almost the majority of the year so far, it's trended at all time seasonal highs. It has been chopping uh, mostly sideways in recent weeks, but we did see it spark back to life last week at about $184 per hundred weight. It's not quite an all time high for 2023, but it's it's approaching it. So packers are reluctant to pay higher for those cattle, but ultimately, front end cattle supplies are very tight and it's difficult for beef packers to really lower those front end uh, cattle supply prices too much. We can see that based on the USDA's cattle on feed levels, they remain well below year ago levels, and this is expected to be the trend going forward. The long term supply outlook remains tight, and this will likely be supportive of cash cattle prices in the months and possibly years ahead. Something to note is that in response to these higher cash cattle prices, beef packers have responded by pulling back on their processing levels. Last week's cattle slaughter came in at only 613,000 head, and we can see that is well below year ago levels. On a year to date basis, uh, cattle slaughter is down by about 4%. Beef packer margins at the moment are currently trending in negative territory, and this all traces back to those sluggish box beef values coupled with those higher cash cattle prices. Something to monitor is the weather in the United States. And we can see based on this U.S. drought monitor that's available on Comtel, some of the nation's major cattle producing regions continue to experience extreme to exceptional drought. So this has also had an impact on cattle movement and has also contributed some to some increased death loss in some feed yards in recent weeks. So this is only tightening up front end cattle supplies even more, which would be additionally supportive of those cash cattle prices. So going forward, there's a lot to monitor with weather being one of the key factors. Thank you so much, Courtney, for that insight. And now we're going to move over to Mason to give an update on pork. Good morning, Mason. Hey, good morning, Matt. Yeah, I'm just going to hop into some individual pork items and kind of show which items this year I've been seeing some some active demand mostly uh, for, for summertime pork. So here the first item I'm going to be showing is the D Rhine belly 13 to 15 weight. And as you can see that to begin the year, uh, we saw a low of about 92 cents. A lot of the, these bellies in cold storage really couldn't be moved there there was pretty much lackluster demand but as we head into summer and august uh, we can see we're actually at the one of the second highest prices uh, ever seen in august for the belly and this is mostly due to uh, seasonally uh, high demand for for bacon for for fresh product and and blt season basically around the corner and we're, we're in it right now and if we actually take a look at the all time data, we can see that this is actually the, the second highest price since 1996, since we've been re reporting this quote, that, that we've seen this high of a price for, for bellies during the summer. Uh, the next item I'm going to take a look at is the, the bone in ham. And the bone in ham right now is not too much of a hot item in the summer, but basically uh, for domestic use, uh, the United States puts, puts these hams into the freezer for, for future use for domestic holidays. But uh, mostly we've been seeing demand from Mexico. We can see that we hit a high of a price of a dollar eight on average for the weekly price. And that price actually came down due to reduced uh, pushback from Mexico due to those high levels. But the market's been consistently strong here still hasn't really seen the dip that we've seen uh, 
uh, strongly in the in the past two years for 2021 and 2022. And if we actually take a look at the export data to Mexico, uh, we can see that when that high price was there, uh, we actually saw a dip below 2020, 2021, and 2022 levels. But as that price came down, uh, and Mexico being more cautious with the peso, you can see they actually stepped into the market here uh, when they thought they saw a more reasonable price for bone and hams. Now, another item in the summertime that we're taking a look at is the, the bone in uh, quarter inch trim loin. And to begin the year, also another item that saw a low of 89 cents here, uh, pretty much lackluster demand. But as we saw, uh, in the United States to begin the year, uh, most of the, I guess, summertime weather kind of took uh, a long time to, to hit at least the Northeast. And that's where we saw that decline in, or increase in May for the most part. A slight decrease before, you know, Fourth of July preparation. And then as we come into the dog days of summer here, uh, we're, we're still seeing elevated prices slightly above 2021 levels, but below 2022 levels here. But still here, you know, good demand for grilling season for this item. And as you go into the summer and production starts to increase here, um, it, this may follow the, the trend that we have seen in the past two years, but still some active demand for, for grilling season for this item. And these are basically the items keeping the, this pork cut out up for the summertime right now. Thank you, Mason, and thank you to all of our uh, viewers for joining us. That's going to do it for today's uh, morning market roundup. The date is August 8th, and everyone have a wonderful rest of your day.